Hello again, we're continuing with chapter six and there's a section here called Getting Real. And this has become an important conceptual tool that the Meta Center has developed, which is the inner circle of the roadmap. And in that inner circle, we have five steps that we recommend to people. The first of these and most controversial perhaps is we're now calling it take charge of your own inner culture. That is monitor what goes on in your own mind and use your critical judgment about viewing violence and vulgarity on the media. And I'd like to add here just a little bit of an analysis that I owe to Professor Franz Duwal of what it is that the media is exploiting in us to create this culture of violence. And if you go through a park, he said in an interview where we filmed him, and you see a number of scenes, you might see like a hundred different things going on, people talking, eating peanuts, feeding pigeons, um, maybe couples. Uh, but there's one fight or worse that's happening. Your attention will be riveted on that fight. Okay. Now the mass media that we have today absolutely depends on your attention. If they, if they don't get your attention, they've got nothing. So what they do is they gravitate towards this arousal scene. And that's one of the reasons not out of malevolence, not out of uh, an, aff an affiliation or an affection for violence, but just to make their system work, they're going to gravitate towards what creates that instantaneous reaction. And then I, I go on to talk uh, in, a little bit, I, in a little bit about what I call our need for human connection, our need for uh, what I call human space instead of geographical space. And I mentioned a study where children grew up in a housing development that was planned and gave them lots of space to play around in. And it turned out that they didn't do very well psychologically because what they need is not physical space to run around in, but they need to expand into the being of one another, to become aware of one another as human beings. Uh, it's a little bit like uh, what Thich Nhat Hanh calls interbeing. And so it can create a great deal of loneliness in children to give them all this space. Now, uh, I've noticed since this chapter that in science, a lot of evidence has been developed about our need for socialization, for human interaction, and especially our need to have relationships of trust and service where we trust one another and where we have the opportunity to care for one another is actually now one of the most important factors that's recognized in human health. So I'll let that sit with you for the time being and uh, go on to consider more how we can take charge of our inner culture and create a world of nonviolence and peace. Thank you.